Okay, so we're in for a nice tough game here, I can see. So we'll capture, capture, keep it simple. And not to overpress, just keep it nice and steady. All right, let's just go on castle. Leave their queen out there. Castle, king safety. The more they keep their queen in the center of the board, the more things we can slowly build up towards attacking. If we went here, this bishop's probably looking to take the knight off the board. Queen's protecting the pawn at the minute. Not looking to target the queen at this moment in time, just nice and steady away. And let's just push here onto the bishop. Just keeping that queen in the center of the board. What he's looking for is this here. Be mindful. If I take, takes, this rook is then supporting this attack down here. So this is something that we don't want to do. We could bring the knight here, looking to put more pressure onto the bishop. But still have to be mindful of this position. So, I am going to bring the knight across, doubly attacking, but also protecting this area. But it's not heavily protected because it's just the king protecting. So now we've got them in a nice deep thing. They're going to focus. Oh, well, okay. So we'll go with the queen just to get the queen. Well, maybe not because he'll have this pawn here. So let's develop the knight first. Knight's come down, looking for the same type of thing. You know, so if the knight takes, pawn takes, takes, and then he's still got that queen coming here. So let's let's not fall for this. His knight knight also is here, and he's got his queen here. Yep, so again, let's not fall for this sort of situation. Could bring the knight here, pushes his pawn down. So may as well push this pawn up to block off the queen attacking here. So this is the person using the answer process. They're using the answer. They're putting pressure onto the king area. So we want to give them a good reply back. We want to give them the answer. Okay, so now we can attack the queen because the queen is in the center of the board. So we sat, waited patiently, now's the time to strike. So now their pieces aren't developed because they focused so much on overpressing. So hopefully we can try and make something of it now by finding more appropriate positions and start putting our own attack process in. He's still going to want to maintain pressure on the king, so he's probably going to bring his queen down looking for diagonals he doesn't do that just yet knight could take but then obviously the bishop would have to be taken so we're going to have to take with the pawn now the rook's defending and the rook has also got sights on this area here so now we can forward plan he's still chomping at the bit you know to get around the king how is he getting how is he going to do it could push here but then obviously it opens up attacking the queen could push there but again the knight is still protecting this pawn so <clears throat> probably can see the knight coming out here to try and disturb something But don't want to overthink it we've got pressure on a higher piece with a smaller piece we'll see what happens from this point on if he does drop down knight can come here and attack if he's working his way down putting pressure okay so he's gone onto a white square could take the knight off the ball but i don't want to do that got pressure on this here so how can we get to there uh you know nearly fell asleep there didn't I it's gone back to again put pressure onto this pawn you know so we, get, we either push up or we push this pawn up here constant pressure the answer process they're using this to the max which one do we want to do push here onto a dark square still got space around here to come in if we push if he captures, capture. Ch -ch -ch -ch. 
don't really like blocking per se he can come down attack and if we took then he can take and then he's still on the pawn again i'm gonna just push here because the element of getting rid of the head of the snake he, he would be winning out so we need to get our pieces over attacking this weak pawn somehow if we could move the knight maybe support this pawn first move the knight get the queen here well maybe here for a secret stealth attack here so he's blocked his queen's access at the minute so he's done that pawn move probably going to shoot down here Oh, he's looking to do this isn't he as well then the pawn can't take oh dear right move the knight let's just do this like we said first and see if we can get the queen involved here this is going to be a problem yeah he's wanting to get rid of my stuff at least it wasn't a kingside attack, Craggy. It's given us a bit of breathing space. Um, is he going to take? Does it give him anything? If he takes, then we get the position that we're wanting, which is this. Um, but his queen is now protecting there, so maybe we focus on this one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. the queen up oh, I'm not finding a favorable position I don't like it ah, do you know what what's going to happen so if I moved here to defend so then he doesn't have to attack there he then pushes this pawn we take Houses. His bishop can't necessarily take. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to be a good mom. His rook can take. You know? yeah. Hmm. I'm trying. Let's go here. You know. I really just sneaking down isn't he if we bring the bishop here then he just drops the pawn if we take his queen takes and his queen is still on i think i'm gonna have to take this bishop and then come onto the queen here maybe he drops but we can take with the pawn there was a lot of pressure they were putting on that was the answer process you know to the max um, so it's good you know this is why we're practicing the answer so that we understand what is going on in the game and when it's intense like that where you don't get any let up it really makes you think that you know they're using something special could come with the knight or attack with the rook so that would then doubling up but if we double up he just drops the pawns don't they i'm going to activate the knight a little bit it's moved a bit quick there it's blocked off there it's blocked off there but it's probably coming around here to come here to attack the king so that's what he's going to be doing and there i think we need to move the king don't we We need to move the king it's a constant attack that the opponent is so focused on it's focused on the king no matter what moves so he might have given us a bit of reprieve what have we got this pawn could come here rooks on this pawn like we said ah what the days and attack the pawn with the knight So his rook comes and defends 
So his rook's defending here, so he's kind of split his rooks up, but you can always rook, double up there. And if we bring this rook here with the idea of attacking their knight, but I think his knight is looking to come here. Got plenty of time, don't need to rush anything actually. But yes, a very tense game. It's equal materially. Positionally on the board, I mean, I suppose you could see he's got a poor majority ish on this side. We've got a poor majority on that side. So the essence would be you focus on your poor majority. But you don't want to over reg your poor majority. The evaluation will probably show, well, I should be pushing these pawns up. But when they've got a dancing knight, he's, he's got to be coming here, hasn't he? So that he can push his pawn onto our knight, but then this pawn will get taken, so that might not work. We're still looking to go here, but I think then he'll just jump there. If he jumps there, then we can go here, attacking the rook. So we're making inroads towards his king area. Something like that. They've gone into a deep thing, so probably going to pause for a second. Okay, so they've moved the rook. He's really frightful of this pawn, so we've got them on the back foot. Let's attack the knight, like we said. And I think he's going to come here, but then we can go here, like we said. And it's nothing major, but we're trying to look a bit active here. The opponent had us on the ropes, and they still do in a sense. But I'm happy that their rooks aren't necessarily linked up, but they can quite easily link up because he could come behind here. But he's got one, and I would class that as the centre of the board, and we've got one that's on the back rank by itself. So at the minute, they're not working as a team, they're overly protecting a pawn, which is good. I think we might be. Oh, he's taken, I didn't expect him to take. So obviously this is going to come here, but then we'll take this pawn, just as a reminder. <clears throat> so now he's split my rooks up. So we need to get jazzy with the situation now. Ideally, he'd love to do doubling up here, but there's no point. So he's coming forward this pawn here. He's looking at some sort of extension with the pawn coming down here. We do have access to this pawn, but if we went and doubled here, he can just push down. And then if we did that, then he'd just take this pawn here. So that's not really going to work for could attack this pawn with this rook again centralizing the rook and then he can just push the pawn down well this one down because then the rook is defending so we're giving him a power base if we're starting to attack these pawns we're getting him to move his pawns down for free in a sense so it's getting further up the board So, our pawn majority, should we now start looking at the pawn majority? If we push this up, I'm not going to move it, if we push that up, then he can push down, and if we take, his rook comes down with a check on the king. So that's not looking good for us. We'd have to have these doubled up so that then a rook would be able to come here. Could push this pawn. I'm going to push this pawn here. Pawn majority side. His pawn majority at the minute is on the back so you can expect some sort of pushing with these pawns to try and get his majority working for him. But now I think it's the time to start pushing. It's going to be sort of equalised-ish. It's just we do have this extra pawn. It's just that he's got the blocker here. So 
he's actually going for pushing that pawn already he wants this position you know the position we just talked about and he'll have a proper pawn majority on this side as well if I take then his rook comes down with a check on the king I suppose our rook can come here hmm he moved there faster we take it's a nice visualization of seeing this attack thing here so we come here maybe then his rook comes here because then if we take then he gets a check on us anyway this rook comes there then we bring this rook down I think that's the only way we can deal with it we'll still have a poor majority on this side a proper majority not linked up to this one here but then he's got his majority as well which can come bouncing down I'm gonna take yeah he's actually gone for it okay so we'll bring the rook up and it's taken oh no what's what what have i missed oh what have i missed now don't tell me i've missed something big he moved there really fast he's coming for the pawn now so let's go here then go here I'm not overthinking that if he takes then we've got like a a nice spread of a majority ish <laughs> although it is a kind of backward and these these things are going to be a bit of trouble but we'll see if we can work with the king he may that might decide not to take but then if he doesn't his king has gone further back so we hopefully win a tempo by mo moving further up because he's probably wanting to keep our double pawns like this so he might want to further his pawns down he's taken okay so this is moment now we've got 16 minutes I don't need to move like it's a oh, I, I don't like these positions you know because it's a Zugzwang thing he's gonna go here and then I have got nothing to do then and then these are gonna champion aren't they oh he's not done that let's go here <sighs> okay 16 minutes to find the right move could push here take or he takes we take then his king can come here oh it looks like he's got them doesn't it so if we take this one then his king is across we push up with the pawn here he doesn't have to take he can just push it down then my king is help, left supporting this pawn because he can push there we'd have to push here okay let's just take and see how the land lies okay now i said i was going to push here but then he pushes down so maybe i don't do that and i push here and if he pushes down we come up oh kiko kiko let's go here and let's push up now this is a nice pass pawn the king is going to have to babysit this pawn or else it's going flying by so now we've got the king acting as a pawn so we've got a pawn majority on this side so we could push like we said and if he does push down or well, we could push and he pushes down we don't want to do that that's definitely not what we want to do we could push here what are we giving the, their king let's push this pawn see what he wants to do he's probably going to push down
and then I'm gonna run out of moves. <laughs> so he pushes down our. Oh, it doesn't. I'm gonna capture, keep that simple. So now we've got two pawns facing there. One, his king is still too close. One. 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 Yeah, so we could do that as a distraction and then the king comes up here takes these pawns it'll take him a while to come round and take this pawn I'm assuming but could keep it simple by just pushing this pawn first and let them run out of moves these positions really hurt your brain That was a tough game, still is a tough game, still can do it wrong. Slightest advantage is we've got this pass pawn here, which is going to be the distractor. Because now he has to move, if he moves that pawn we take and we've got a passer there. If he moves this pawn, the pawn puts a check on. So the king's probably going to move to the side here. If they move to the side there we can move our king here. So probably going to be yeah so going to move the king here if he decides to come round the back here to try and get this one this one just ramps up to get a promotion Whew, wow We'll give it a pause okay so he's coming down for the pawn so may as well go for this one he's got a choice and they've resigned very interesting game indeed <laughs>